Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. But trust me, we will. You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. Maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black on your behalf. Do you have my bag? Always, Dutch. Our story begins in 1899. Having fled Blackwater after a botched ferry heist, Arthur Morgan, the main character of this tale, and the Vandalin gang take refuge in Coulter, a deserted mining town in the Snowy Mountains. Realizing the era of outlaws is coming to an end, the gang plans to gather enough money to escape the law and retire. Once winter passes, the gang leaves the Snowy Mountains, setting up camp outside of Valentine, where Dutch, the leader of the gang, continually promises that the next heist will be their last. The gang performs odd jobs to earn money, and even robs a train owned by Leviticus Cornwall. In retaliation, Cornwall hires Pinkerton agents to apprehend the gang, Managing to escape the confrontation with Cornwall's men and Valentine, the gang relocates to Lemoyne, where they attempt to turn the Braithwaite family and the Grey family against each other. However, the families double-cross them, and during an ambush in Rhodes, Sean is killed, and Jack, John Marston's son, is kidnapped and sold to Angelo Bronte. In response, the gang manages to rescue Jack and destroys both of the families. Despite their losses, Dutch remains adamant in his ongoing promises of a final heist. The gang robs a bank in St. Dennis, but are ambushed by the Pinkertons, resulting in John getting arrested and Hosea getting killed. The once formidable gang was slowly losing members by the week. Arthur, Dutch, Bill, Javier, and Micah manage to escape the city via a ship en route to Cuba, but a torrential storm causes it to sink and the men are washed ashore on the island of Guama. There, they get embroiled in a war between Fasar, a tyrannical sugar plantation owner, and the enslaved local population. By helping the revolutionaries kill Fasar, the stranded gang members secure transport back to the United States. Upon their return, Dutch continues to obsess over a final heist. Pinkertons assault the gang's camp, and Dutch's paranoia grows believing a gang member is working as an informant. He begins to doubt Arthur's loyalty when he rescues John earlier than expected and names Micah as his new top lieutenant. With cracks in the Vanderling gang growing, Arthur is diagnosed with tuberculosis. Reflecting on his actions and how to protect the gang, he openly defies Dutch by telling John to run away with Abigail and Jack and aiding the local Native American people. As Dutch and Micah arrange one final heist of an army payroll train, other members of the gang grow weary, and Pearson, Uncle, and Mary Beth leave the group. Arthur not only viewed Dutch as a leader, but as a father figure to him and the rest of the group. So when Dutch abandons John to the army during the payroll train heist, Arthur's faith and loyalty are shattered. Not only does Dutch abandon John for dead, but he also refuses to rescue a kidnapped Abigail. Whilst Dutch and the rest of the gang leave, Arthur promises Jack that he will rescue Abigail, and he and Sadie pursue Andrew Milton, the Pinkerton who took her. Whilst rescuing Abigail, Milton reveals Micah as the Pinkerton informant, before Abigail kills him. Returning to the camp, Arthur openly accuses Micah of betrayal, leading to a standoff. Dutch, Bill, Javier, and Micah side against Arthur, whose only ally is John, who appeared mid-standoff, alive but wounded. However, the standoff is short-lived and disrupted by another Pinkerton attack. After the assault, Micah ambushes Arthur, and the two fight, inflicting brutal injuries on each other until Dutch intervenes. Arthur manages to convince Dutch that Micah is the rat, and Dutch leaves, abandoning the traitor to the group. With fatal injuries and the black lung, Arthur crawls to the cliff edge and succumbs to his injuries whilst watching the sun rise. Eight years later, in 1907, 
John Marston and his family are trying to live an honest life. They find work at a ranch. However, their peace is shattered when they learn Micah is alive and has formed his own gang. John, Sadie and Charles assault Micah's camp, finding Dutch, who shoots Micah after a standoff and leaves in silence. John finishes off Micah and claims the gang's Blackwater stash to pay his debts. Marrying Abigail, John Marston starts his new life on their ranch, alongside Jack, an uncle, and all seems well. However, the game closes with Edgar Ross tracking down Micah's killer, leading him to John's ranch. So, to summarize, it's still Cowboy GTA.